Threading the needle is just as easy as winding a bobbin. Again, you're going to follow a numerical path. However, this time you're following the path that's marked with a solid line, not the dashed line. So I'm going to bring the thread directly off the spool of thread under number one, number two, there we go under the metal guide. And now we're going to travel toward the needle. Come down here, up and around, and I can see here that I've got a little problem. There's a door covering the take-up lever because I've got to make sure that I lift up the presser foot. You always want to make sure that you thread your machine with the presser foot in the up position because that opens up the tension discs so that they can accept the thread. And your Catherine is not going to allow you to do it wrong. It puts a little door over the take-up lever so that you can't complete threading it if you've got your foot down. So now I can bring the thread up and around just like this, back down to number five, Number six is a little guide at the very top of the needle. I like to just kind of hold the thread taut and catch it into that guide, just like that. Number seven, we're gonna take it across this little plastic piece here and then to the thread cutter. Now we're ready to use the built-in needle threader. Absolutely love that Catherine has a built-in needle threader. I'm going to lower my presser foot so that my needle threader doesn't accidentally hit the presser foot and now I can simply push down on this lever and my needle is threaded and I'm ready to stitch. Mm -hmm.